All right, here's a couple of boards loaded up. Uh, the ALU card, just have to pop the chips in. I'm waiting for the um, double stacking connectors before I load up these boards. Um, so, but that one's ready. Uh, this one's a fun one. This is my uh, digital input. <laughs> so, uh, switches um, and uh, the tri-state, which I can control with a line, but I also have a, a, a switch on here. Uh, if you can see that, uh, a little push button switch that allows you to put those on the bus. We can test that out now. And then the little uh, comparator board with the HC85s on them. So, yeah, everything looks pretty good. Uh, let's try this one out. Okay, if you remember, we have uh, uh, 5 volts and ground. Uh, so we can. Where'd my board go? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, here it is. Um, so we'll put that on here. Make sure it's lined up right. Okay. Uh, we can uh, put a indicator up here. Look at the bus. I'll turn this on. So there's uh, nothing on the bus. And um, let me put in a value on the uh, on the dip switches. Let me put in a, um, uh, a one zero one zero one. We'll enable it. Hey, it works. Awesome. So it's just taking the the value five here and putting it up. Everything's upside down. Um, but yeah. Works great. So now I can put things like I could hold this button down. I could toggle my RAM chip and put that value into RAM. Yeah. Things are looking good. All right. All right. So let's, let's take a look at the uh, boards here. I put some connectors on. Um, these short connectors are just mechanical, so the, the board, I'll show you how, how they work, but they're just mechanical in nature. I have some short ones because I chopped up uh, some long strips and I have some left over, so I just use those as mechanical holders for the, for the boards. Um, I've been mentioning this board uh, costing $3.50, and that's a big mistake. I, I looked at my invoice, and uh, this board was $1.50. Um, it was $33 including shipping, uh, so I just remembered it wrong. So anyway, a buck and a half for these boards and uh, uh, $2 divided by 10, what, 20 cents? Uh, 20 cents for these boards. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Um, Alright, so let's uh, put a couple boards on. Uh, we'll start out with the uh, uh, input. We're going to kind of hold the board this way so we can put it in bit 0 and bit 7 so uh, this is in the right right sequence and then the next thing I wanted to do was oh I'll show you how the mechanical thing works uh, there's just a, a, a stop so the, the when I push on the keys that doesn't flex All right. um, so we want to examine the bus uh, watch that as it's uh, uh, let's see oh it goes this way So we can uh, monitor the bus, and maybe a next card would be card. <laughs> the next board would be uh, a register, and then another register, um, and then we could put on uh, uh, indicators for those. So this will, this will be how it works. Um, we'll start with this. I'll power it up and see if we can make it work. I'll have to bring some pins out to control do the control logic. Uh, but just to give you an idea um, where it goes from here, uh, you can see we have the, uh, the ALU card. I don't have the connectors yet, so I don't have those. But I did put on a, a, long, a long pin reach uh, connector here. So... Uh, that does that does work. So that uh, does reach down and, and connects the output to the uh, 
to the back plane. Uh, so that, that'll be how that works. Uh, that's looking pretty good. And then we can put the uh, uh, comparer on top. And we could put uh, indicators on top of that. So we can build this thing up. Uh, maybe next things to add would be uh, uh, the RAM. Uh, we could add the program counter. Yeah, we're starting to run out of space. So, um, not to worry, we'll just put a board alongside of it. And instead of s stretching it out to be 20 inches long, I'll just, uh, I'll just have it side by side. Um, so I think even, uh, even if we have a couple boards, it'll still fit within a piece of paper. Uh, so, anyway, pretty happy. Uh, the next step will be to uh, try a couple things out, see if, uh, see if things are working in the way that uh, I think they should be working. And go from there. Uh, let's see. Ground. And ground. I think that'll be a good place to start. We'll have, uh, we'll have an input. We can monitor the bus. And we'll have two registers that we can talk to. Uh, so start there. All right, I thought we'd give this a bit of a try. Um, we have our input switches, and we have two registers. We'll call this the A register and this the B register. So we can uh, set some value on the switches and uh, put them on the bus. Uh, we put this on the bus by pushing a switch here. Um, so we've uh, put the value um, a0 onto the bus. And then we can write that to this register by pulsing the right line. Um, so we can take that value and store it in this register. So now we have A0 in this register. So uh, if we want to put that register back on the bus, we can use its read. Uh, uh, let's see which one is it? This one. Uh, we can set the read low and uh, put that value on the bus. We want to put a different value in the B register. Um, we could set the uh, set the switches here. Uh, switches are a little noisy. Okay, wait, let's put uh, put the value five. Oops, is that five? Yeah, there we go. Put the value five on the bus, and we'll clock that into the B register. Um, there we go. So we have A0 and 05 uh, in the two different registers. We, if we want to put this register on the bus, uh, we would lower its uh, read line. And we would put 5 on the bus. So, this all seems to be working great.